love me, yeah, they love me. First love yourself. For that. And God we trust, trust me. I don't trust myself. Your yeah, jewelry, I get it took. No show. Welcome back to It Is What It Is. This episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. The app is an easy way to make some cash just by making picks on your favorite players. Underdog is available in more than 30 states, including California, Florida, Texas, and New York, just to name a few. Make sure to support the show by hitting the link in the bio and downloading the Underdog Fantasy app. They will also match your first deposit up to $100, and you get a special pick when you sign up. I'm Treasure Wilson, a.k.a. Stat Baby, along with your host, soon-to-be Mace, and Cam. What's going on, Stat? What's happening? I'm good. How are you? I can't complain, man. We got some people in the building today. Yeah, we today. got a lot of people in the building today. Yep. It's going to be a good episode. Today, we are joined in studio with Nelly, Jermaine Dupri, Uh-oh. and our analyst, Maurice Claret. Man. What's going How on, man? It's a star. Man? Yo, this is a star-studded <laughs> event. Yo, oh, we so. almost got the whole country in here. There's nobody <laughs> from the West Coast in here right now. We got the East Coast. We yeah. got the Midwest. We got the South. There's no... Look... I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for joining. Mo, what's up? Man, I'm going to teach with you in one minute. I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for, uh, pleasure, man. for joining me, JD. I didn't even know you was coming, man. I, I just didn't either. To- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he was with me, man. I just said, I got to go something. No, I seen Rocco earlier with, with Nelly, and I, and I, and Rocco's always with JD since the very first time I ever met JD. And I was saying that how much I love, you know, we in New York, we be fighting, don't speak to each other for 15 years. And the, me and Mace just got cool again a year and a half ago after not speaking for 15 years. And it's like, damn, man. And when I see people together for so long, it uh it really makes me happy, the unity and people sticking together. Uh, Nelly, you my man, before we even get to anything with you and get to some sports, yep. I want to say thank you to JD. I don't, I don't think I ever got a chance to thank him because he's on my first album yeah. uh, with two different cuts, actually did a hook for me. And when I was young, I was real arrogant because my man Mace just sold 4 million records. And I'm thinking I'm supposed to sell 4 million records. And I don't think I ever gave JD his flowers for even doing what he did for me because I may have been that thinking in my brain, well, Mace sold 4 million, I'm about to sell 4 million. And it just didn't work out like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just want to tell you, thank you, JD. Oh, sure, and, sure. and I really appreciate it. And I don't think I ever gave you some your flowers that you deserve because I may have been arrogant, but I just want to tell you it meant a lot to me yeah. that you did that to, did that for me, invited me to your house, and you didn't have to do that. So I just want to tell you thank you in front of everybody because oh, yeah. I probably never even did it privately, let alone publicly. So I really salute you and tell you Same. thank you. And thank you for coming through and still doing your fucking thing before me, after me. And... Puff better watch his mouth on them fucking verses, nigga. That nigga. We was talking about shit dangerous with JD. Oh, don't, don't sleep on that nigga. Shit will get real dangerous, man. Oh, man. So just thank you, though. Seriously, I just yeah. want to tell you thank you very much, yeah. man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have both of you guys here. Maurice, how are you doing today as well? Mo C! <laughs> Yeah. They, oh, What's Cocaine up? Cowboys. Uh-oh. Oh, you got the Cocaine Cowboys shirt on. Yeah, I see him. Because nah, you know what happened? I'm bringing y'all up to speed. So I said the last time the Cowboys won the, the Super Bowl that a Michael lot Irvin. of... No, no, I said a lot of the, <laughs> the players was on cocaine. Uh, so they may want to revisit that in 2024. Uh, so it may be the, co- the Cocaine Cowboys. <laughs> so Mo wow. when they got the shirt on. <laughs> if the Jerry Jones... Wow. Y'all may want to look into this. The last time yeah. a Super Bowl was won was when y'all was on cocaine. <laughs> oh, the cocaine oh Cowboys. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Y'all may want to revisit that if okay. you want another Super Bowl. Mo, shirts is fire. Send my shit in. I can't we wait. Off and running. Yeah, right. they, they, they <laughs> may want to send them shits to Dallas. They, they Trust me, that's the last time they won. Shout out to Trey Aikman, Emmitt Smith, my, uh, Michael Irvin, you my nigga. That's my cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, we all know what happened the yeah. last time that Super Bowl was there. Down there in Dallas, man. man. Shirts is fire, baby. Bet you guys didn't expect to start the show with cocaine cowboys. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, 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 I, actually, I actually heard y'all talk about that. You left out the fact that it's the White House. They, that's what it, you know. They had the, oh, yeah. They had okay, the, oh, oh, bring some more light to the show, please. <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> he a cowboy. Yeah, so, so, so please tell us what yeah, you mean. Yeah, the hangout about. was the White House. They had to close the, they had to close the White House. That, so, so the nickname of the house where they was getting high at was called the White House. Yes, I don't know if they was getting high. I'm not saying well, that. We're not saying what they was doing in It's called the White House. 
<laughs> no, JD, you're not just going to say the White House is like trying to move on. What do you mean nah, the White House? Nah, Break they, that for, they, for the they viewers. Hang out. The Cowboys hangout was called the White House. In the 90s, you're saying yeah, for the everybody viewers. everybody know this. This ain't like nothing that's a secret. Okay, just because JD trying to brush over it. So because sometimes we got viewers just learning sports as we go along. Right. When JD is saying that the Cowboys that won the Super Bowls, Back in the 90s, <laughs> used to hang out in a house called the White House. JD is saying he doesn't know why it was called the White House, but why would it be called the White House in Dallas? <laughs> Maybe it was his White House. Yeah, but the it was White a big-ass White House, though, from but what I was understanding. The, yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, the White House is in it's, D.C. That was a big White House. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay, I'm just bringing the viewers up to speed. It's in D.C. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was wondering why a White House would be in Dallas, but... um. It's, we know he's a, he's a cowboy fan, so he has more. Well, we heard they found some in that White House too, not too long ago. So it's all good in DC. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Look, man, I, I, JD don't want to say it's prostitution going on. Oh, oh, <laughs> it was oh, it was cocaine. Oh, oh, listen, I heard oh, Michael. Oh, listen, oh. Michael Irvin is my man, oh, but I heard God. Michael Irvin say out of his own mouth, <laughs> "We was trying to do the right, the wrong thing, the right way." What's the wrong thing the right way? So where they went was the White House. <laughs> so they could do all the wrong things oh, the man. right way. We here now. Yeah. <laughs> all the way. Yeah. All the way here. Welcome, baby. Welcome, mm. right. baby. That's how we do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get into the sports topics. Alabama head coach Nick Saban has retired. Mm. He has a record seven national championships, six of them at Alabama, a record 15 straight seasons during which the team was ranked number one at some point, and a record 44 Alabama players picked in the first round of the NFL draft. But what do you think contributed to him calling it quits? Mo, you go, Mo, you go first, baby. Yeah, I think the uh, le the landscape has changed, man. You have more young kids, black kids, I'll say it, uh, who have more power. And I think everybody in the room has seen this where you'll have uh, black kids who become in power, who can think for themselves, who have resources, who have money. And I just think this is an era that he doesn't want to coach in. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to deal with that. That dynamic has never been a part <clears> of him coaching, recruiting. He's never had to recruit against somebody like Prime. He's never had to recruit in the social media era. Era, And I think when you look at what happened with Dabo Sweeney, I think he kind of looked at like, man, I'm 70 years old. You know, you know, he owns a bunch of Mercedes uh, Benz dealerships and Ferrari dealerships. Mm -hmm. And I think he's like, look, man, this is my last run. I don't want to be involved in this stuff. I don't want to be around these kids. He's a good guy. I love a, a lot of his material, but I just think he just realizes that the game that he once knew isn't here anymore. He just wants to move on. Want to chime in, Big Tom? Yeah. No. God damn, T, what the fuck? Turn that shit off. Turn the Bluetooth off so you don't even make that mistake Look, again. Look, I like, I like, is the belt marching band coming through this shit? Like Nick, Nick like, Saban threw a grenade in here. <laughs> <laughs> damn, Nick. No, um... I, to his point, I, 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 well, first of all, let me, let me say that, you know, Nick is one of the goats when it comes to coaching. I mean, um, his stats is, is unmatched, is unprecedented what he was able to do in college football. But I think he hit it on the head. I think it's very, very convenient at this point in time when you talk about dealing with NIL, you're talking about dealing with the portal, you're talking about, um, people being able to, you just don't have to go to Alabama now to be seen, so to speak, or have to go to some of these yep. big colleges to be seen. I mean, um, and I think it's very, very convenient. Now, that doesn't mean that he's not genuine when he says that he's done. I just think the timing was <laughs> was hella was right. hella convenient at this point. Like, yo, you know what? Um, like Maurice just said, you know, I don't want to have to deal with somebody um, like Prime or but any of these, any of these young coaches that are coming in that's on a different level right now because definitely because of the social era. Right. Um, everybody want to be seen. So, right. You want to chime in, Jay? Or... I, 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 I'll say this. Hold on, let Jay go. Ahead, let, go let's ahead, go, go ahead, around go the board. Ahead. What do you say? Go ahead, go ahead, Mo. Yeah, go ahead. Say what you're oh, I, I was just, I, I didn't know he was going to um, go, but, it, but it, it's to the point where Prime came in and they, they try to minimize and try to make it into a circus. That's what they want to market it as. Right. But he showed you I can cut through all this history and there's a lot of former players who want to exist in that same environment. And Saban is smart. He's like, man, the prime can come and cut through all of what I've built over my history and he can get the same recruits and he can go raise the same money and he can go solicit the same kids who come out the hood of St. Louis, Atlanta, New mm -hmm. York, wherever these dudes come from. That's a contributing factor to your whole business model. 
And so I think that that is like that that has to be looked at because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of college coaches that feel that way that that it's just I don't know it's a new era. My fault. I don't want to uh, take up all the time. No, go ahead. It's all good. Yeah, I thought I thought the Falcons coach got, got cut right. So then you know Arthur Blank had hollered at them and told dude come to Atlanta. That's what I think. So you think he going to the NFL? Yeah. You're Nick Saban. Yeah. I I'll say this like. Uh, <laughs> When 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 Mo when Mo when Moses said Nelly um um Maurice I call him um, Nelly Mo so just so we do <laughs> yeah, the same I, thing I just so more, yeah, yeah yeah so uh, more and we got more on the screen they're absolutely right he had an outstanding career um legacy is undeniable as far as college football is concerned. But get the fuck out of here, nigga. You can't keep up with Prime. You was hating on Prime in the fucking beginning. <coughs> Prime started doing his thing. Then you want to do commercials with Prime. A lot of niggas was like, we've been on Nick Saban ass this whole season. Right. So niggas was like, Cam, y'all ran them out. God take the credit. Because you can't, look, I take it as you, like Maurice made a great point. You can't keep up what's going on with NIL, so mm. you rather quit. I'm not even going to sit here and say all this nice shit they said. You can't even keep up. Damn, I can't control niggas no more. That's what it basically well, it stop, boils down and, to. And it stops becoming about Alabama. When you go to Alabama, you mm. know you going to an institution. You going to Alabama. Nick Saban is the biggest name in Alabama. Now, with Prime, it is different, but he he at least allows, allows his players to shine. Now, with NIL, if you're a superstar player and you know you go to Alabama, you won't be bigger than Alabama. But if you go to a different school and you can shine, that's more money for you in your pocket. The whole From thing the about NIL it is, situation. But this is what I'm saying, Nelly, is that NIL just came into play. Before right. that, you're like, if I go to Alabama, LSU is a better chance I'm going to the NFL. Mm -hmm. And you're not making any money. So yeah. your, your thing is to go to Alabama so you could get to the money. Right. Niggas is getting to the money, money now. now. Exactly. That's, That's so, what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. So Yo. we're agreeing with each other. And now that niggas is getting to the money, it's like when Travis in Colorado, when Dion got him... Nick was accusing the niggas giving him a million dollars right. before he got there. Dion and, and, and Travis was like, mm. what the fuck are you talking about? Nobody gave me a million dollars. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean it if he didn't give it. it to her. Nick, bye. Go to NFL. <laughs> JD got the inside scoop. Go to Atlanta. I bye. Go, go to the fucking my thought. That's yeah, your okay, thought? Okay, yeah. That's just my thought. Anyway, <laughs> we, we can't see you get the wait to get out of here because you can't keep up with niggas and now you mad. I call that some sucker shit because you quit two or three years in the NIL Instead of trying to figure it out and say, how could I manipulate the situation? It was a, a recruit that was talking. I don't know the recruit's name. And he was saying it wasn't, it wasn't Nick Saban, but he was telling another coach. I wasn't sure if it was Oregon. I believe it was Oregon coach. or I don't want to say the wrong coach. Mo probably talking about Maurice. Mm -hmm. And he said, no, I think I'm going to go to Colorado. And they said, what the fuck? You want to be a rapper? <laughs> niggas like damn d d yeah that type shit Sheesh. you know what I'm saying d you know who it is why bro? you wouldn't want to go play for yeah, it was the, the lineman go ahead yeah, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm talking about right yeah the lineman from Colorado he was tell he, uh, they were trying to solicit him away from Colorado and basically what they said was that you know like that's what I'm talking about they would say you want to be a rapper that's the only reason that you would want to go to Dion and they try hmm. to make him theatrical as if he wasn't a Hall of Fame player yeah, and had a suit career. Yo. And so what they what they do is when it comes to like so basically Nick Saban can't control niggas anymore and he don't want to compete against niggas and that's I, I, you you kind of open the door with this one up but that's yeah. all it is and all of these coaches they'll attack like the character or things that loosely that they feel represent black people or like niggas and say, hey, man, you want to sit in a rapper bucket or it's like the only way you're going up there is to be entertained. And so I don't know. You, you look at it, you, you shake your head. Like you can give his props to say who he was, but you shake your head. And like you say, he, he runs from this new environment. You know, he got beat by Harbaugh. Uh, so the SEC mm -hmm. isn't the dominant figure anymore or, or the dominant figure in college football anymore. And it's just a new day. You know, so I'm, I'm happy, yeah. though. And, and, and real quick, just to the NIL point, it's like when um, Marvin, Marvin Harrison Jr., <laughs> You know, he he could go to the NFL now. Ohio State is offering him, and and I, and you know the reports are super duper high. Mo, may, we was talking about it maybe two weeks ago, but it was a a, a headline that they're offering twenty five million mm. to stay for one more year. Mo was saying it'd be more regular around six or seven, eight million if he stayed. What he would make in the NFL. So let me ask you this: I I, I ask you the question: mm -hmm. if 
if you if you're in college right now, Nelly, and right. you can go to NFL next year and you're gonna make ten million dollars, but Ohio State or whatever school you're at said, stay one more year because you have another year eligibility and we'll give you the same ten million dollars that the NFL will give you, what would you do in that scenario? You know what? That's that's a tough one in a sense, but I, I, I mean, I probably would lean more towards staying one more year, but depending on how my contract reads, because if I stay one more year, am I am I going to be insured? What happens if I get hurt? Right. And I and and something happens that I can't get to the NFL. If I get to the NFL, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And, um, I don't know like how the pension shit work or whatever the case may be. But if you I ain't get getting no pension in one year, what? Well, well, that's my point. <laughs> right. So if I go to the NFL, um, I, I, I probably would stay. I, I I probably would stay because if I can, long as I can stay stay healthy. Then that's twenty mil in two years. See, that's the thing. I would stay too because you get the same injury that you're worried about. You yeah. can catch the same injury in the NFL, and I think the injury yeah. risk is higher playing with grown men. Than well, yeah, with the, and there's and and more games, yeah. and there's more games. It's way more grueling than college. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, yeah. NFL yeah, games is real life, man. I yeah. saw Ray Lewis hit Marshall Falk one time, and I. I swear to God, boy, yeah. I was like... <laughs> listen, listen, homeboy, Warner from St. Louis, when the Rams yeah. was in St. Louis, yeah. um, what's the nigga Warner? The, Dirty Kurt. Kurt. Yeah, yeah, Kurt Warner. Nigga knocked him out of his career. Career yeah. got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> they knocked his old ass out, out in retirement. They said, sit your ass down. He said, I'm good. I'm good. good. I had a great career. Um, yeah. Real quick, Beffa, are you here? Your friends is here. <laughs> oh, Beffa, your that. crew is here, man. Check it. They the fuck you got on your head, Beffa? Murder. He oh, frozen? He frozen. <laughs> he frozen. Great. Oh. <laughs> Get nah, that bro. Yo, JD is here. <laughs> JD is here. Maurice Claret and Nelly is here. That's a great shot. Oh, you need yo, that picture. Take yo, a picture yo, of that yo, screen. Yo, your Wi-Fi is whack, <laughs> dude. It's the hat, <laughs> man. to me right there. Yo, Mo, yo, hey, yo, murder, you gotta fix your Wi-Fi, B. Your shit, you got that Australian Wi-Fi. That shit ain't coming through right. Pause. You can't uh, whoa. Hear me. That's, you, you can I hear said me. pause. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 if that's what we doing, let oh, me know. Get, it, 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 it get petty up here. I got you. Oh, God. It get petty. I got you. All right, bet. You yeah, win, boss. I said that. Killer, that was crazy. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. You, you left. You left me yesterday with no. You, I handled the show by myself. It was cool. Listen, hold on now. Murder your Wi-Fi is trippy, and you got what the fuck you got on your head? What is that? Man, that's what's fucking the Wi-Fi. Up. What's, what's, what's on your head? All the signal. Yep. Juicy press. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's that been around the world. It's got Nelly tickets. <laughs> it got so so dev tickets on it. it. Got DMX tickets on it. Oh Look yeah. At that. All right, cool man. Okay, you got you need a stronger Wi Fi signal, man. But we back. We gonna get ready to move on. Um, <laughs> so we could so you could jump right in. Pause well, since everybody's on point today. Pause. I'm a, <laughs> Nelly wants to play for so he's in. He's in. Nah, pause. Champ, I'm, I'm, nah, I'm nah. hearing what I'm hearing. You, you know what I mean? No, you watch the show and you and you, you got a Harlem pass too. You really you got some Harlem some Harlem shit with you too, man. Yeah, man. I've been up there before. Yeah. And then real quick to the Nick Saban point. I mean, he is 72 years old and he mm -hmm. did say that his age was making it a lot harder for him to compete. Mm -hmm. And then just with the climate, kind of like what you guys said, there's a lot going on for head coaches. So I just don't think that he can compete with what other coaches got going on right now. But I will say for whoever's going to fill his shoes, I would not want that job right now because it's going to be hard to bring Alabama and keep him at a consistent power point. But we'll see what yeah. happens. It's still a great school. Yeah, it is. Definitely. Okay, moving along, there's a lot of coaches who are leaving. Bill Belichick and the Patriots have parted ways after 24 seasons. Mm. He was the highest paid NFL coach, gaining around $25 million annually. But this year, the Patriots had a 4-13 and record. So was it time for Belichick to leave? 4-13 for 25 mil? Hmm. That was financial. <laughs> 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 uh, I think I might, he might be in the same boat. As um as Nick, Nick to a certain Nick degree, um, Nick Saban, and to a certain degree, in a sense of, um, 
Yeah, I, I, I think um, once Tom left, I think a lot of his, um, a lot of his, uh, I'm man, I'm trying to watch myself yeah, around these careful. parts. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. <laughs> be careful. I think a lot of uh, his skeletons was 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 coming out the um, closet, so to speak, in the, in the theory of the way Tom, him and Tom complemented each other uh, as far as working together um, on the field. Did I say that right? <laughs> that was a whole like I don't know. Damn. You can tell you like you're really trying to like make sure you say nah, we ain't that petty. We ain't gonna say it. Yeah, you know what it is. is. We ain't gonna be out. Nah. You, you winning right now, so you don't yeah. want to catch one pause. Yeah. Go ahead, Mo. Maurice. No, I say it's the same thing. Like you know, sports and music is almost the same thing, right? Where you have uh, people who you catch lightning in the bottle with. Mm. You know, he had Tom for all those years and you had all those amazing defenses. You know, he had Josh McDaniels as, uh, as his offensive coordinator and you just build like magic with people in, inside mm. of these moments. And then when your when your people start to leave, you think you can recreate the same thing. And I think he just started to realize like, man, I don't have it. Uh, I don't have the patience probably to rebuild a quarterback and go on that same run that I went on with Tom. And so I just think he's gracefully bowing out, realizing that, um, sometimes you just have moments where you have the, and I just can name it a music thing, the right producers, the right studios, the right people, the right everything. It's the same thing with this show. This show is the same thing as the Patriots. You catch the lightning No, the, the fuck we not. <laughs> what Patriots you talking about? 2001? You better be talking about the 2001, 2003 Patriots. Not the 2024 yeah. Patriots, nigga. But truth be told, he may not be done, though. He may not be done. He, he said he's not done. He, he, he may he, go somewhere else. I just he, think that that, he, that time has ran he, out when, he, in New England. He said he's not finished coaching. God, I ain't want to cut you off, but don't ever compare to the 2024 Patriots, nigga. Fuck you no. talking about. I just wanted to be clear on that. Yeah, he, no, but you, you know what I'm talking about. The, like, I'm talking about the... the I don't the know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, the golden years yeah, of that. We world. don't know, I, I, Maurice. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> there go my nigga. He back now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Murder. We talking about the niggas is, is is four and thirteen, and that nigga say, yeah, this show is like the patient. What the fuck is that talking? What is he talking about, murder? Yeah, yeah. What is Nelly talking about? That nigga ain't got to go home, but he got to get out of here. <laughs> no, go no, Maurice Claret. Maurice Claret said that. <laughs> No, I didn't say that, Jeff. I think that hat too tight. <laughs> that was that was the other mode, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Yo, Nelly, that was crazy. The hat too tight is crazy. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, oh, the hat too tight is crazy. Time out. Oh, that's, time out. Oh, my God, man, that's, that's what did you go to court for that? Yeah, you might have to go to court. Like, what is the ball cap? Yo, no, go ahead. Ball cap. That might have been it. Yo, Murder, what do you think? <laughs> yo, yo. That might have been it. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I don't even gonna say that. Murder, yeah, that was one dollar. Murder, what you think about Bill Belichick retiring? <laughs> you think you had something to do with that? I think I, I think I, I paused. I, I walked him out. <laughs> you know, I'm an expert like that, killer. When I talk about something, it happens. So I'm glad they got the cold cam. You working that. Yeah. I'm going to help you go to the Super Bowl right now right. by letting you know who's going to win the championship before it ever happens. Nobody on that desk can say this. Only I can Here say this because they we go. Nobody else can say this, Cam. Who's going to win, Murder? Who's going to win, Murder? The reason I'm saying this is because you said about three weeks ago Bill, Bill Belichick may not be there at the end of the season. I'm trying to give you your props and you don't even want to accept them. If you want to give us a, <laughs> if you want to give us your prediction for the Super Bowl, we're here to listen. We're trying to work with you because you're such on such a delay. Not right now. I not bet. right now. I not bet. right now. Kim. I bet. Not right now. I can't do it right now. I, I, I can't do it right now. JD, you got what do you what you think about uh, Bill leaving? Everything is coming to Atlanta. You know what I mean. Bill and Nick Saban together. I'm just saying, you know, I'm man, listen. This nigga, yo, I've never seen a more Atlanta nigga in my life. This nigga is the most Atlanta. Wait, 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 listen. We got an issue. We got an issue. I told you. Let me tell you something. We got an issue. I tell him all the time, Atlanta, only baseball and soccer. That's the only championships they winning. They will never win basketball and football. They got good players and good teams, but let me tell you what happens. There's too many brothers on them teams. See, when Atlanta wins, Atlanta turns up. 
Mm-hmm. And every every step Atlanta gets closer to a championship, they turn up even more. And just like, remember when they was up at halftime? All of them. JD, everybody went live yeah. at oh. halftime. Yeah. It's on fire! Yeah. It's going now! Oh. We about to kick it! Yeah. Boy, that did not age well. It yeah. wasn't even two hours later, yeah. you could have dropped a pin in Atlanta and heard that thing drop. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was one of the yeah. worst, worst <laughs> second my- halves I oh. ever <laughs> seen in my life, man. I, I forgot about that, actually. because that's when, and, and look, this is that brings it back to Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Um, Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, I'll just say this, Tom Brady won uh, when, when it comes to the battle of Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Uh, it never was right when Tom Brady uh, got hurt. Jimmy Garoppolo came in. Jimmy Garoppolo did a good job. He wanted, Bill Belichick wanted to replace Tom Brady with uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm going to let you go in a minute. But, I see. Uh, well, yeah. Well, well, Nelly, I'll let you go. No, nah, because that, go. that first Super Bowl was Nelly, how you go? I let that everybody go Bowl, and then, and then the you just... The first Super Bowl was Nelly, you, it, it doesn't go like that. I'll let Yo, you go man. again. It goes around. Yeah. And then <laughs> it's, it's my go. And then if you want to go again, you can go. It's fraudulent. I'll let you go first and then you just want to cut me off 35 yeah, seconds into my shit. What, what's fraudulent? Okay, let's argue about it. What's fraudulent? That first Super Bowl was fraudulent. What first, first Super they Bowl? Because they took... They beat the Rams, and that's when the Spygate, your man Bill Belichick, was cheating. They they was taping our play. They was taping our practices. What does this have to do with Jimmy Garoppolo? Right. Because it, it, it's never about the quarterback at the end of the day with uh, Tom Brady or Bill Belichick. I'm just saying it's fraudulent, bro. You sound like you're emotionally over some territorial shit because it was the St. Louis Rams at the time before they went to L.A. Right, go ahead anyway, finish. like I was going to say, I don't even know what the fuck Jimmy Garoppolo had to do with any of that. Bill Belichick wanted to replace Tom Brady oh with Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, Tom Brady, when he came back from injury, didn't have it, went to Robert Kraft, went over Bill Belichick's head and said, Give me, get Jimmy Garoppolo the fuck out of here. It's been turmoil ever since then. And then when Tom Brady left, everybody's like, oh, who's going to win? Bill Belichick or Tom Brady? Bill Belichick or Tom Brady? Tom Brady goes to Tampa. Tom Brady ends up getting the Super Bowl the very first year that he leaves the Patriots. Bill Belichick hasn't been able to recover since. He got, he got Cam Newton. Cam Newton caught COVID. He ended up with Mac Jones. Mac Jones seemed like he should still be in college because he hasn't done shit in the NFL yet. And Bill Belichick is like, I can't really do anything with this. Robert Kraft is like, look, we're a historic organization. We have a reputation to keep. I don't know if we're going to get it with you. Pause. It looks like they may need to rebuild. And if they do rebuild, Bill Belichick is way too old to be rebuilding. He's 72 years old. It's about to be 72 years old. So, yeah, J.D.? Um, I was talking about this earlier, mm-hmm. right? And uh, Bow said that he think that um, he going to the Raiders. And because... Because Tom Brady is part owner of the Raiders. Right. You talking about Bill Belichick? Yeah. Well, listen, the thing about it is I just want to get to kind of where we were at real quick. And Bill Belichick, uh, like I said, he's he's too old to rebuild. I think he had a historic career. The Patriots are my team, and I'm from New York for a very long time. So, so you don't uh, think he's going to coach no more at all? No, he said he's going to coach. I was watching all day yesterday, and Bill Belichick said he's not finished coaching. Mm. He says he's coming back to coach. Mm. It's just not going to be with the Patriots. And even at the speech yesterday, I watched the whole speech with him and Robert Kraft, and Robert Kraft was saying, I'm going to be rooting for Bill Belichick along the way no matter what, except for when he plays against the Patriots. So they, they both kind of indicated that he'll be coming back. I just don't think that the Patriots are going to win anything. And he's saying, look, Bill Belichick, and God bless, he lived, if he lived to be 150, but let's be serious, maybe 20 years, God, God willing. And he still wants to coach. He needs to get somewhere to go and win in the next five, six years, possibly. Yeah, Let me ask you this. Good. You want to talk about the Rams now? Fraudulent. It's all good. No, 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 no. no. Um, <clears throat> Fraudulent. No, definitely fraudulent. No, but I think that they both had a um, a good chemistry, like you said again. But Tom Brady actually in those first couple Super Bowls, he didn't play that well. You know what I'm saying? That first Super Bowl, he played, he didn't play good at all. Actually, those defenses, and I think that that's probably what set Bill in the spiral of him thinking that, you know what I'm saying, um, defense, well, defense does win championships, but um, just thinking he can plug uh, a quarterback in in that position 
to play. That's a nigga out the side of the window like that? Flavor Flav, yo. He's <laughs> bugging me out, yo. It might have been Flav. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy yeah. part about yeah. this. He talking, I'm watching this nigga no, do the Flavor Flav shit, all yo. All day. Yeah. All day. All the time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's he doing Flavor. Fall. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, all day. <laughs> My bad, bro. Gang banging no, on baby. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, I'm watching it. No, but, but, but see, the thing about it, Mo, when you're right, is that Bill Belichick is a defensive coach. He was a defensive coach with the Giants. That's why he loves Lawrence Taylor so much. That's his favorite player. Yeah. Then he went to the Brown. He He's a defensive-minded coach. And what they were talking about in the press conference today as well is that, you know, they were saying that he's also the general manager, not just yeah, the coach. He's picking the players. Right. So they're saying that he didn't have that job. He earned that job with Robert Kraft. The first three years, he wasn't general manager. Robert Kraft said he earned that cachet with him to make him general manager. But obviously, that's not working out. You're picking the food, cooking the groceries, cook, picking out the groceries, cooking them isn't working out. And I think it was mutual. They wouldn't say, they said it's mutual, but it's like, look, I got five, six years to get something done. Rob, I love you, but it ain't going to happen here. And Rob's like, yo, you served your time here. You, you won me six championships. You took us to eight and nine. I think it was great, and I think they had a great run. So salute to Bill Belichick, but it was no indication that he's not going to coach anymore. Um, JD says he oh. has some inside information that he's coming to the Raiders. <laughs> so, so we're gonna keep our, JD got a lot of shit going on. <laughs> Nick Saban is going to Atlanta and Bill Belichick is going to Vegas because Tom Brady has something to do with the Raiders. This is JD. Let's keep an eye on this for next season because we may come back and get to the videotape if you're right. Bow going to want credit for that though. All right, yeah. say no more. <laughs> and then Maurice, did you have another point about Belichick because I saw you no, when I heard Cam talking, I, I was wondering if Bill Belichick's ego wants to go with another championship without Tom Brady because a lot of people talk about he can't do it without Tom Brady. And Tom Brady went to the Bucks and he did it without Bill Belichick. Oh, definitely that's something, that's something to do with it, in my opinion. But at the same time, what you got to realize, Nick Saban, and I know we probably, I, I got to look at the topics. I know we probably going to get to Pete Carroll. Uh, and Nick Saban, Pete Carroll, and Bill Belichick are all over 70 years old. And they, <clears throat> nobody wants to just do this to do it. I'm pretty sure they want to win another championship before they die. I'm not saying they're about to die, but it's, you know, it's life. We're, we're not stupid. But it's definitely ego involved. But what happens is this too. When you've been doing this so long, you say, I'm going to go retire. And if you don't have a plan B, you sit home on the couch and you yell at your TV on Sundays. Or if you coach college, you yell at your TV on Saturdays. And you're like, your wife is like, why don't you go out and coach a high school team or something, nigga? Because you in here driving me crazy. This is what you've been doing the last 40, 50 years, and you never had, and you made enough money <clears throat> so you're financially secure to where it isn't like you have to go out and do anything else. But if this is what you've been doing the last 40, 50 years, and you're not Nick Saban with 17 car dealerships, what do you do? That's the real question. Okay. Well, I love that you brought up Pete Carroll because we're going to talk about Pete Carroll. So he's also done in Seattle, but as head coach, he will now have an advisor role. He coached the team for 14 seasons and led the team to win two NFC championships and their only Super Bowl title in franchise history. So how do you feel about this decision? And then just in general, with all these coaches leaving, other than NIL and like other things, what do you think that they're dealing with now that they haven't dealt with years ago? You know the thing that's in common oh. with all three of them? Mm -hmm. They all defense first coaches. Okay. Right. They all all of them. All of them is defense first. They think defense first. And right. if you look to where the game is moving, whether it's in college or whether it's even in the pros, right. now defense still wins championships, but you got to be able to put up some points. Right. Um in, in in the league, period. And I think all three of them are warranted are a little stubborn in their ways because they've all had success doing it their way. Right. And sometimes, like you were just explaining, it's hard to change right. um, just overnight like that to be like, yo, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to think a little bit more offensive with what it is that I'm doing here. But um, when you've had success doing it your way, like you said, it's, it's kind of like music. Mm -hmm. You go in and you got your method and your way of doing it and you didn't got hits and then you go in to work with somebody else and they like, yo, try it like this. And you like, yo... Who you talking to? You right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, right. This is how I do it. Right. And but now it's not working like that. Um, and I think they got to let a little bit of that ego go and 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 start conforming a little bit more. Right. What you got, Mo? And murder. I, I just for whatever reason when he said it, 
uh, just passing the baton. I don't know why when I look at Pete Carroll, he looks um, – I don't know. He all, he he comes off more of like a player's coach, and then him just ascending yeah. to a different level. It looks like, hey, I'm getting out the way. My run is done. Let somebody else have the spot that I'm in. Mm-hmm. But let me go play more of an executive role inside the system where the other two people. Um, I don't know. I don't feel that same way about Belichick and uh, Saban. But with, with Pete Carroll, I feel a little bit more positive about him. Right. Go ahead, murder. Take some more credit for shit you didn't do. Go ahead, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's frozen. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> nah, nah, he's not Max. frozen. He's not Max. frozen. Yo, man. He's not even he's about frozen, to rock though. Out. Like, what is going on? <laughs> we can't hear you, bro. Oh. I, we can't. This just doesn't seem real. Yeah, this, yeah what's going <laughs> yeah. on, man? Yeah. Can't, yeah. I can't hear anything that you say. Big saying. trouble, little China. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Mace, you got to get better Wi-Fi, man. This is kind of crazy today. Um, is it... Yo, Nick, we got... Yeah, okay, okay say no more. Um, I like Pete Carroll. I totally agree with both you guys. I think that Pete Carroll is definitely a player's coach. Like, when I watch Pete Carroll on the sidelines... I'm like, yo, if I play football, I want to play for that guy. He's and it's like he doesn't. He's not the Nick Saban, and no, I know guys look great for the age as well. But he's not the Nick Saban, Bill Belichick, seventy seven. He's jumping up, he's high fiving, he's chest bumping, and I totally agree. If I had to guess, I have totally no knowledge on this. I totally agree with with Maurice saying that he's like, yo, man, I I, I don't want to be in the way. I still want to be a part of this and help out and give my football knowledge and what I can bring to the table, but let somebody else do this, but I still want to be a part of it. Um, I think he's a great coach. Even before he got there, USC is a great coach. I really like Pete Carroll a lot. The one floor that Pete Carroll had in his whole career is not passing the ball, to, giving the ball to Marshawn Lynch to win that Marshawn, second Super that was, Bowl. Yeah, that was, That's the one floor in his whole career. Outside <laughs> of that one particular play, uh, you know, they had Legion Legion of Boom. Uh, we like Russell Wilson much better when he played under Pete Carroll <laughs> <laughs> and Marshawn Lynch with Skittles. I, I love what was going on when they was at their prime, the Seattle Seahawks. So um, salute to Pete Carroll and much success in the front office and what you're doing. You're one of my favorites. J.D.? I'm cool on this one. Okay, gotcha. He not going to Atlanta? Hey, Russell Wilson. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, <sorry. laughs> Boy, I'm sorry. Somebody was saying something. Sorry. No, Russell Wilson might actually go to Atlanta, though. What? Oh, God. Oh, don't. Uh, now, Mo, the, Mo be doing some shit. Right, so bro. hold on now, Mo. J.D. just said 15 people going to Atlanta. <laughs> so what? He right. He right. He right. <laughs> he right. He right. He right. I just ain't want to say it, but he right. He right. <laughs> he definitely right. Yeah, I, I don't think Russell's done, though. I think Russell's still got a lot of, lot of game. You know what I'm saying? Left him. I just think he needs to be more inspired. And like, I, he's a baseball player, right? I played baseball right. my, my whole life. Right. And some players, it's about their routine, right? And what I mean by that is it's every day. Everything you do, it, your mind focus. And, and this is just my opinion. I hope I'm not disrespecting anybody because I love Russell Wilson. Right. But when you are not in a certain type of mind frame, when... And I say that from like Russell's a ball player. I've watching him, you know, it, it never was about what he was wearing or if he was shining or what's it was all ball. You could just tell he grew up all b- playing ball or oh, 24 hours a day, baseball, football, whatever the case it was. Then I think maybe he got to a point to where it was other things in his mind that was taken away from the focus or right. whatever the case that may be. Right. But I think if he just get back to just, 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 you know, playing ball and getting that mind frame he had that made him the success that he is because, you know, the guy's a hell of an athlete, man. You know what I'm saying? And I actually like the dude. I, I, I think he, I think he's just going through a, a tough time mentally. I don't know. The I don't think of, his physical capabilities the, the are strong. about it, Nelly, when you come here, you, what are you talking about? Well, I'm just saying, like, anything, <laughs> what are you, what are you, anything outside of playing... What are you referring to exactly, please? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like... <laughs> <laughs> we don't play these games up here. What do you mean his mental focus outside of football is right? What else is he thinking about? 
Anything that does <laughs> not have anything <laughs> give, to give, do. Me, give me an example of what other things may be. Uh, photo shoots. Okay. So you anything, know, so, so like, oh, like, photo shoots? Yeah, I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. Like, uh, like, uh, yo. No, listen. <laughs> what are you talking about? Be more specific. You talking about I'm trying. So he's not playing good because he's he's having too many no, photo no, shoots. No, 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 no. This is hilarious. I'm not saying that he's not playing well, because he, he didn't He's not playing well. That could be a lot of factors, and we're at, you, that could you be alluded little, to well, that. I'm just saying, could you be more specific no, as an analyst on what you're talking him about? Not, him not playing well, I don't think is 100 percent due to his athletic accountability. You I'm saying with already. his team, yo, yo, yo. Is you gonna let me talk? My bad. Is you yeah, gonna let me talk? Listen, I, 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 this is how this works. Yeah, <laughs> <my bad. laughs> First is me, then it's, then it's no, Mo. No, no, you know what? Nah, nah, no, 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 seriously. Because you, nah, you're you saying the same. You want to revolve door. We got. No, I'm trying to line it up. I'm trying to line it up. I know, I know what you're getting at, I too, champ. Nothing. I ain't getting nothing. No, I know, I know what you're asking. <laughs> but, I mean, listen. Uh, <laughs> ain't no commercials in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to go to. We don't need to take a break. Yo, shit. yo. Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just saying, bro. Like, I know. I, I grew up with a lot of players who sometimes the light is too bright and they get blinded by the light instead of just you staying see, focused man. and playing ball. Everything outside of playing ball sometimes affects the way that you get on, get, get on the field. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think... Can I say it? I mean, yeah, when, yeah, when, 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 when yeah, Bow... I'm going to say, I'm say When Bow Wow play me, when we be playing Madden, because we play, we big Madden players. Yeah. Um, Bow Wow's always saying, you got to see CC man. I think that's what you basically saying. Yeah. Say what now? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what you say that? Say that again. I'm glad you said something, J.D. Because this is what... I, this is no, what no, 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 no. You need a translator. Hey, that's what you're saying. You say. No, I'm not saying... I'm not saying... That in particular, because I can't. Nah, first of all, right, but first of all, you love your. Jay, you love your no, no, I'm, but I'm saying, I'm saying, for for Bow to even say that, mm -hmm. that's that's basically what that's how people probably perceive it, right? Absolutely, and that might bother him. Right. You know what I mean? Like what he's saying is, if that you know, if that wasn't the way it was before, mm -hmm. and then you hear somebody say "CC man," mm -hmm. what the whole thing about it, Jay? Why are you covering for this nigga? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> why are you ain't let this? That's my I big thing. That's my big thing, bro. Why are you covering and, for and this nigga? By the way, we had this conversation before. That's why it's so funny to me. Yeah, 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 but, but, but so I would never say. First of all, I would never disrespect that man's family. You see what I'm saying? So him and his beautiful kids, his Jay, wife, and all of that. He, but let's no, be clear. He didn't disrespect I know he didn't, but I wouldn't want to say anything to be like, yo, <laughs> yo, what the fuck is going on out there? Like, yeah, yeah. 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 This is okay. crazy. Oh, yeah. no, the man is out there. You know, he know what the fuck I'm no, talking we, about. Is that we don't know none of these niggas. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but I, I just think that um, you know, if he just locks in and focus. Here's the thing. When um, who was the coach that just went up there? Who was the coach that um, just went to Denver? Sean Payton. Sean Payton. He said went up there. Your man had his own office. He said Russell Wilson had his own office. In, in the locker room or, or just at the place. Like, who the fuck does that? You know what I'm saying? Like, how no, are you I not... I what you're saying. Like, Tom Brady never... If Tom Brady don't have a fucking office in, in a stadium, nobody should ever have an have a office in a stadium that's not an executive. You know what I mean? Like, if you're part of the team, you're part of the team. And once you start separating yourself from the team, that's not how you grew up playing ball. That's what I'm saying. That's something else that's influencing you. Yo, close that's the, making you pardon, feel. Yo, Nick, close the curtains on them niggas. That's Go, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, that's not how you grew up playing right. ball. You grew up being part of a team. And you know camaraderie helps you, you know, out, out on the field. So now, if you're in a position where you're separating yourself from that team, then you lose the energy of the team. You know what I mean? So now if right. he did have an office sitting out there, no wonder he's fucked up. Of course his mental is off. There's nothing in his nothing in his right mind or in my right mind would make me think that he ever thought growing up playing ball that he would have something that was separate from the team on any level. 
If that makes sense of what I'm saying. You know what I mean? No, like, it doesn't, man. Nah, it does. JD you said J D said the right shit. Hey, lead the camera. Encourage me. I want to oh, be you able to see it. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. I think that's I, it takes I, away from the experience. Okay, yeah. cool. I leave it. I'm I didn't here. I didn't know if there's bothering you. I don't know. It's all good. It's funny. It's trying to get your attention. Nah, leave it on. I was just like, hey. I thought you knew you. Shit. What make you think I do? Yo. Oh my God. Listen, I, I'll say this real quick, um, cause you listen. I'm dancing. Dan, tap, Sammy Davis <laughs> Jr., uh, I'm MC Hammer, Michael Jackson. I know the dance was crazy. Cause if an athlete with the lights, <laughs> oh Lord, it will come around. Oh and sometimes if you see, well, I got too with much the with the. And with the office, look, man, <laughs> listen, man. And that, which, what I will say is this. J.D. got to it. He made a great point. And what happened, and you, but maybe you made a great point, too, is that when Sean Payton got there, it's been turbulence ever since. When Sean Payton first got there, he said, you got to stop kissing babies. Yeah. You got to stop shaking hands. You, you got to stop, stop being nice to people. I'm talking about verbatim. This is exactly what Sean Payton said. And... Russell, Russell Wilson, just it looks like he's a general, genuinely nice guy. No, I believe he is. Yeah. I've met him a few times, and he did. Right. So, you CC man, nigga. So, that's just that. If you don't want to say it, I'll say it. You CC but man, I nigga. Think, I can't no, say that. No, Dolly, you can't it. keep cutting people. You dance no, all for 20 man. minutes. We watched a dance session. You, this is not Nelly's you opinion. Cut that shit. This, is Cam, this is Cameron's <laughs> opinion. And it's not JD's opinion because he said with somebody else, like, this is me and Bow Wow's opinion. <laughs> and you were CC's man, nigga. Dang. And, hey. and Sean Payton know that shit too, oh man. My so, God. I don't know. And, and what I'm saying is this. If, more, if, if, if Maurice is correct about Russell Wilson coming to Atlanta, you really CC man, nigga, because you going home to her town, and now you just going to be CC man. I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe you'll play better in Atlanta where she's from. But until further notice, nigga, you not, they benched you the last game, and they're trying to cut your contract now for $37 million. I think that Maurice Claret may have something about this Atlanta thing. Cause he, <laughs> no, because he don't just say shit. Mo right. just don't blur shit out. When he say shit, he got some knowledge about some shit, man. But I think what Nelly was trying to say was this. Oh, here we, we go. All that players. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I, I'm just saying the more direct way where dudes, they grow up and they dialed in on football. And if you look at the woman that he was with when he got drafted, that was him. He was in the film room. He was focused on football. He was trying to be the best that he could be. Then he got celebrity in his life and he lost center. He lost center focus and he wanted to be a celebrity football player. And all everybody's saying is like, yo, man, uh, what, all, what, what he was trying to say, with all due respect, I respect your family, I respect everything else, but if you want to get back to what Russell Wilson was at uh, Seattle, like, you got you got to, like, put that in its proper place. Yep. And managing that may be a thing, but, you know, when you got $100 million, I'm not sure that he, he you can hear, hear what other people are saying. Now, it was a countdown from the GQ spread. As soon as I saw him at GQ, I said, it's a countdown. It's a countdown, because you can't tell me that that man ever thought he would be in GQ. Never. Never, never, never. That was never his idea, I promise you. He's a ball player. He grew up playing ball. He's a ball player. He's a ball player. He's, he's not a celebrity. He's a ball player and a damn good one. After, and a damn good after one. JD, after me, and after Mo, now you gotta say what you gonna say. Yeah, We've been waiting for you to say this <laughs> the whole time. Now, it is now. what it is. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, on that note, we're going to go to break. And when we return, we will talk about Aaron Rodgers and Pat McAfee. Don't go anywhere. You ain't no help. <laughs> Everybody was covering for a nigga with you. I had my statements. That's why I let you. She called this thing about toxic. Four years and counting. Got you feeling like an option. Maybe I'm my own problem, babe She's tired of hearing I don't know My stubborn in me won't fall, oh, oh Dealing with this thing called trust But she really thinking about She want to be free Welcome back. So let's get into our underdog fantasy picks of the day. Tonight, the Warriors will play the Bulls. Steph Curry is at 27 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower? Cam. 
he ought to be higher because they can't fucking win without him scoring. Even when he scores, they can't win. More story is higher. Okay, Mace. I, I, of course, any nigga with that, those kind of sneakers and get 30 points, you got to have 30 to <laughs> yeah. Okay. Clay Thompson is at six rebounds and assists. Do you have him higher or lower? Mace. Six assists? Rebounds and assists combined. Yeah, he should get higher than that. Okay. Yo, Clay, they disrespecting you. Now they combining your shit that say you can't get three rebounds and three assists and six. Niggas is really disrespecting you <laughs> at this point. Is he not getting in the game? Yo, fam, they really disrespecting you at this point. This is what you're... Look, and I fuck with you, Clay, but this is what they gambling on now. They're like, this, this shit don't bother you? That you have a combined three yeah, assists nigga. and three rebounds to get over. I'm going to go over. And if you... It better be over, Clay. It better be over. I'll tell you that right now. That because that's wild that they even that that's even a bet. Okay. And DeMar DeRozan is at 20 and a half points. Do you have him higher or lower? Mace. What you said? DeMar DeRozan, 20 and a half points, higher or lower? That nigga ain't getting no higher than 20 points. <laughs> I'm going higher for DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> okay. Download the Underdog Fantasy app and you can make your picks too. We are joined back with Maurice, Nelly, and Jermaine Dupree. Okay, so moving along, very sad situation. A Buffalo Bills fan was shot and killed while leaving a game at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. Brody Isaacs, he was 30 years old, and his friends were walking to their vehicle when he was shot following an altercation with another driver. So first, my condolences to the family, but thoughts on the situation. I mean, that's a hell of a follow from Memphis Guns. But yeah, man, um, condolences and strength and blessings out to the family. Uh, I, man, I wonder what happened. I mean, I, I mean, I heard you explain it, but um, I, I hope it just wasn't all over for somebody lost. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, no, that's wild. I, I don't even know what the hell to say about it. I, I mean, I think I think that. Um, um, the security at these NFL games and all of these sports games, they got to start, they got to up their speed with just like this show, right? This is a new setting for sports. Um, and the coach is leading, right? Mm -hmm. And we be acting like niggas don't be in the crowd saying shit to the next person like that. Like this be going on. This is, it gets violent, right? right? right. And it's a lot of that that's happening that, you know, people just don't get killed. But I feel like the security, they got to they gotta get more up to speed and understand that this is really happening. Like, if you, if you, if you know, if you go to one of them places like Miami and you got on a, a different jersey, these guys be really acting crazy. Right. You know? I, I, I'm a, I, I was going to say the same thing J.D. said. I'm a totally 100% in agreement with him. Like, even when you go to, to certain basketball games, and they got the guys not watching the game and they're just like looking at the crowd. And I'm like, bro is 74 years old. If some <laughs> shit goes on, he can't stop shit that's about to happen. So in agreement with JD, they need the up security, but not just up security. It's two things. We don't know a lot about this particular situation. And I've been in Miami for a few years. I've been going for years, but I've been down there for a few years. And don't let the palm trees and the beach and all that shit fool you. Once you get over that bridge, that shit get a little bit sketchy if you're not from down there. Uh, it says pulling off in the car after an altercation mm -hmm. with uh, another vehicle. So was this road rage or was this act like road rage because you was popping shit earlier <laughs> about the bills or whatever? So um, JD said it the best, and I, I don't even really have too much to say after it. What I will say is this. Uh, everybody moving forward. Uh, that was a divisional game, and that was uh, probably a lot of shit talking. And what's going to happen moving forward the next couple of weeks, I just want everybody out there to be careful. Keep your eyes open because the playoffs are coming up. And once you lose now, there's no coming back. So fans are going to get rowdy. People, emotions are going to be high. Keep your eyes open and be safe out there with the playoffs coming up. Definitely. Especially if you're on the road going to see a team. He's back, my just the last second. Look at him every time he come back. Something, something <laughs> look, look new. Look at glasses. glasses, Raiden. Yo, this is the last Raiden. That is definitely Raiden. <laughs>
This is the last segment, Mace, but you've been choppy the whole time, bro. Look at Chi Chi back there. Tell Chi Chi I said, what up? What up, boy? What's good? He can't you. What's good, boy? That nigga Murder got you. He, I've been telling that nigga to bring you in for like, pause for like three episodes. He ain't bring you in. He bring you in when it's choppy Wi-Fi. Sucker shit. Man, man, killer murder got me out here. He did what else could a nigga ask for, man? I'm on all of these stages out here fucking these stages up every time I leave, I get new. It's, it's good to be out of Harlem for two minutes, nigga. It, it's, it's a good Harlem look, nigga. Yeah, right. man. Be thankful you're in Australia, yeah, man. Great look, <laughs> for Harlem. That's a fact. Ask him, ask him. Since you're right. trying to run with his logo. Oh, yeah. You're Fat. killer. The nigga out here running with your logo. <laughs> What the fuck going on now? <laughs> a lot. A lot. Oh, on his phone. Nigga, that's family. Nigga, you know, nigga. <laughs> he family now. Nah, he thought he was out there selling nigga. t-shirts for a minute. Oh, 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 nigga. <laughs> oh, it's on his phone. That's all good. Oh, she, 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 my nigga. No, I thought it was a lamb. No, I thought it was a lamb. And Chi Chi, my nigga, he can run around. I thought it was, I thought he made the diplomat lamb in this. I ain't know what's going on. Appreciate you. It's okay. You know, well, actually. Mace, glad to have you back. Okay, as the season continues, and we know All Star Weekend is coming February sixteenth. Who is your favorite team out the East and the West? Simple answer. What? Who do you guys got? Um, this year I would probably. Uh, it's still going to be the West, I think. No, we're, we're actually. Who's your pick for the finals? Oh, for the finals. Mm -hmm. Oh, in basketball. Mm -hmm. I still think it's too early to tell right now. Um. I think Mil Milwaukee is still. Nelly, I'm here. Okay, oh. all right, all right. If I need that expertise, I think Milwaukee is still gelling. Um, I think Boston is the team to beat, though. Um, I think um my boy Tatum, Jason Tatum. I think he. Uh, I think this is year to prove. You know, what I'm saying um that he 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 gonna take the league over. This some St. Louis shit right here, Gotta man. Know I know, that. I know it was St. Louis shit. <laughs> light skinned niggas from St. Right. Louis, hey, man. man. Hey, man. <laughs> you light skinned niggas hey, from St. Louis. You, Jason Tatum, and Bradley Bill, y'all niggas Yo. is on some hometown favoritism hey, shit. And hey, listen, hey, listen, why he ain't been getting it done? What's going on? That nigga been killing the last few years, but he won't get the job done. I'm, I know you're from St. Louis. I know that's your little nah, man. It take, it, take, it, take, it take time sometimes. It take time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He earning his stripes. It's, it's gonna be that much better when he do it. Okay, he like Boss. a he like a tall little Nelly. He got the waves and the lights. He's from the U. He <laughs> you know what That's what I'm saying. He he he, he from the same yeah. area I went to high school with and yeah. all that. You know what I mean? Now, like him and Bradley Bill give you a lot of props, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to family. Bradley Bill too, family. man. Shout out to B. Yep. Who you got, JD? Atlanta? The Hawks. <laughs> oh, wow. He got, he got heartache. <laughs> hey, look. Wait, wait. Listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Listen. So yeah. if 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 um what's the dude that played for um uh what's the team? Well, I don't know what your what's wrong with your hand. <laughs> I just went blank. Damn. Um, fuck. Maurice Wilkins. What's, what's, what's usually what's yeah. the what's the what's the top five East Coast? I mean the East Coast teams. What you got? New York, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Boston, uh, uh, Boston. Who else? Cleveland. No, nah, not Cleveland. Cleveland up there. Philadelphia, Philly. Philly good. Yeah, Philly in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Philly Damn. in there. <laughs> yeah, you don't go to Philly no time. Anyway, so. I can't even... I'm, I, we gonna be in there. That's all I'm gonna tell you. You talking about like the Greek we, freak, your Milwaukee Bucks? I said Milwaukee. Nah, he said Milwaukee. Him and Damon right. Lillard? Nah, nah, dude just got hurt. The, the, um, he, he oh, a, John Morant, but that's Memphis. Nah, nah, I'm talking about the dude. He put a hamstring. Um, oh, no. Fuck, no. man. <laughs> Uh, what's the team? Uh, the oh. Pacers. Pacers, my bad. Okay. Oh, Pacers. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Indiana. Halliburton. Yeah. So so I was I saw when he got hurt. I got excited because I'm like, yo, if you know, damn, hey, hey Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, yo, go. go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Listen, I'm saying I saw that happen. I'm like, okay, look, if he's out, then the Hawks gonna definitely take their space. All roads leads back to Atlanta somehow with Jermaine. Dupree. I'm all, just saying. All, I'm just saying. This yo, is this is. All, J JD is almost like Ferris Bueller day off and just <laughs> yeah, wake up yeah, and say yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. It don't matter what it is. Everything goes to Atlanta, to Atlanta, man. Atlanta. <laughs> Everything goes to Atlanta. I mean, y'all know Trey nice, right? Yeah. No, Absolutely. Trey nice. Trey is nice. I'm just saying we got a cool team. 
Yo, him and Murray are gelling though. So I'm just going on because Murray was really good when he's in San Antonio. Dude, that's crazy, Jay. Yo, Maurice, who you, <laughs> who you got, bro? Oh, so I'm I'm, I'm biased. I got to say two things. The first one is I, I I root for the Celtics because the Celtics brought me in a uh a training camp and and I was working with their players for a year. We're well, not working with them. I talked to their players and uh their coach uh, had brought me out there. So I'm biased in that regard. But I will say this, and I know the show going to end in a minute. I figured out today, when you called me on the phone, I figured out why I like the show so much, right? So this didn't even bother me, and I wanted to tell everybody, right? I was like, man, why do I have so much fun on this show, and why, why does this thing bother me that I don't know how? And when you called me, my little kid, my kids was around me, and when I see your name come on the phone, I was like, yo, what's up, Brother Giles? And it was more like a personal thing. And I was like, man, when you started the show out and you start talking like we were joking, I said, man, this is the only time in my life where I'm unguarded. And what I mean by that is that, like, I'm not, like, defensive. I'm not being no athlete. I'm not walking outside and being, like, um, guarded with somebody trying to rip me off from business. And I was like, man, it's like, it's kind of crazy that that it, it dawned on me at that moment. Then another part of this is when you was uh, talking to JD and he was like, y'all, I'm giving you your flowers. I said, man, what y'all put together and I'm going to be careful with how I say this. I think like black people, we so used to like only seeing each other entertain, only seeing each other uh, playing a sport, but we don't never get like a human side of like adult black people. And I think where somebody may want to see like other either hip hop moguls, I say like Jay and Dame or where is Ice Cube and Mac 10 get together because there's something inside of you that feel that way. I feel like I'm living in that experience and like, I don't know why I wanted to say that, but I did want to get it off and say it until you pause. But I was like, man, this is why I enjoy the show so much where it's unguarded. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just want to say thanks for that. You know, I'm always appreciative, but I did want to say that before I said the Celtics or after I said the Celtics. No problem, man. We appreciate you having mm -hmm. on the show, man. Murd, I'll see you motherfucking tomorrow. We'll make our picks tomorrow, man. I just want to thank always, well, what, what's tomorrow's Friday? Well, I'll see you on, on Monday. Um... Thank you, Maurice, for always um, bringing the knowledge that you bring to the table. JD, I don't get to see you that much. I appreciate you popping up. Pause. And Nelly, <laughs> uh, you won the dance contest tonight, baby. Oh, <laughs> you definitely won it this morning. Won the dance contest Yo, this morning, man. He definitely won. I didn't know. I didn't know he did that good, Murder. Hey, man. He was MC step. Hammer tonight, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you know uh, that nigga was on Dancing with the Stars, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thanks a lot, but thank you, Mo. I appreciate nah, you always, coming man. up, man. You, I appreciate Yo, you killer, guys. Let me say something. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Sorry about that guy, Murder. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to thank Nelly so much, man. Um, he did he did some really good things for me and my family, as well as like all the inner city things I was doing. I want to tell you, Nelly, from the bottom of my heart in front of everybody, man, you you made a difference in my life. You made a difference in the people that I helped. You know, when we were really just starting, you gave us um, 30, I think it was like 35,000 for a band. And it brought a lot of kids back and forth from college to different things. And I really want to tell you, I appreciate you oh, man, for man, that. Man. And J.D., JD gave me my first Alice killer. So JD was the first the, the, the one to phone, show the, me. The them. phone's breaking up. Say that so again. For the A body to know that. Oh, he gave, man, my he, pleasure. No, he, he he said, JD, we heard about Nelly. You could talk, say what you have to say about JD one more time. Yeah, and JD, I want to tell you, thank you for my heart. You were the first guy to ever pay me what I was really worth talent-wise. And that just go a, a, a long, long way. Um, and I, I want you to know if there's ever anything I could do, anything I could be a part of, I'm forever indebted to you for for just allowing me to allow me to be rich. You gave me my first one. My brother. <laughs> he said, allow me to be rich. <laughs> you gotta know that. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you guys, man. Super, super dope. JD and Nelly, of it was course, a pleasure. Man. I was rapping, Rich. But you <laughs> <laughs> oh, already, champ. I appreciate you, Beth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I want to like, congratulate y'all on this, though. Okay. Like, because I, I, stay, I stay in this hotel. Okay. I've been staying here for a long time. Right. Um, 
And I was telling Nelly before we came over here, I'm like, I wonder if they got, because I walked past here a couple of times and um, they let some niggas in the way and like do this the way we doing it right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, real talk, that, that's, not, that's not a crazy ass statement because when I first came out to Vegas um, and the wind was, was brand new, they kicked me out because I had a do-rag on. That's right. what I'm telling you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like right. they told me I had to leave. I'm like, nigga, I'm, I'm four million. Yeah. It's like, oh, you gonna be four million without a do rag today? Or <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, tell you, this was, this is, this is, yeah. this is yeah. a different type of mode right here. Right. Yeah, it's the culture, man. Congratulations, yeah, congratulations, Yo, thank you guys, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much, man. Super dope. Well, it was a pleasure, and Maurice, <laughs> thank you for being here. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, it is what it is. It is. Uh, 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 like when they doing them two for five.